I'm Dr. Kayan Seodia. I'm an interventional cardiologist at SLRH of Fortis Hospitals. And today I'm going to be speaking on uh, myocardial infarction, that is heart attacks, in, especially in younger individuals. Nowadays we are seeing that younger individuals, especially in the third and fourth decade, that is the 30s and 40s, you know, present to us with acute heart attacks. Many questions have been asked, why is this occurring, especially in younger individuals, in this generation of individuals? The answer is very simple. Number one, it is the lifestyle. Now we've become more Western than the Westerners are, per se. Our lifestyle has changed. We lead a sedentary lifestyle. Our food habits have changed dramatically. It is to be known that uh, the Indian diet, the traditional Indian diet that was there previously too, was a very healthy diet. It actually used to protect from cardiovascular diseases, but we've changed to junk food and, you know, fast foods. We don't have a fixed timing of eating. Our lifestyle has changed dramatically to the extent that uh, we have incurred smoking as a part of life, especially in these individuals. Then suddenly somebody who is leading a sedentary lifestyle suddenly uh, becomes health conscious, starts to work out. And especially, this is what causes the problem. Our body is not used to a workout schedule and suddenly you have a rigorous workout schedule which causes stress on your body, your heart. Hence, it is key to understand that exercise should be in a graded fashion, always supervised, At least to say it should be supervised. When exercise is not the only thing. The other things are also lifestyle modifications along with exercise. In everything in moderation should be the key, which should actually hold the key. It is also a misnomer that individuals only above the age of 50 should undergo regular health checkups. In today's generation, I strongly suggest that individuals after they turn 30 should undergo regular health checkups with a your physician, with your cardiologist, to know your health status. There is no harm in undergoing a few tests every year or two. And uh, it is but natural that if there are any issues that can be picked up before something untoward happens. And that is actually going to be the key to a better outcome, a better life and a better outlook for young healthy individuals. A disciplinary lifestyle is something that is going to be very very essential to what we see. We talk about mortality at younger individual age but the key is a disciplined lifestyle. When I say a disciplined lifestyle it does not entail only exercise. It entails a good sleeping habit. People nowadays sleep for two to three hours a day which is not biological. It, a good six hour sleep is something that we would be looking at. After saying that importance of exercise has already been stressed upon Number four is also a well-planned, good, healthy diet. You cannot be eating 10 times a day, whatever you feel like. It should be good three meals a day, but a healthy, good meals. You, I'm not talking about extremes here. I don't want anybody to go on a salad and a soup diet. However, we don't also want deep fried every day and you know not caring about it too. So that too is gonna be a key to a better outcome, a better future and a better heart, uh, you know, discipline. Thank you.